is INC Now. Well, Fort Wayne and its one-time Mayor Harry Balls have been the butt of late-night comedian jokes for the past week. But who was Mayor Balls? We thought we'd take a closer look at the man behind the mirth. Eric Olson reports from out in your country. Fort Wayne, Indiana was an industrial powerhouse in the early 20th century. Foundries, breweries, woolen mills, piano, truck, and gas pump factories. A self-contained city that knew where it was headed. Right up to 1929, when the American economy went over a cliff, and Fort Wayne went with it. It was during those dark years that Harold W. Balls was first elected mayor. The city was in dire straits financially. That's when re real leadership uh, shows itself, or doesn't is in the tough times. And the mayor showed real leadership. He consolidated city departments, lowered city tax rates. He launched construction of Fort Wayne's massive underground sewage system and built the city's sewage treatment plant, still critical to us today. The entire country, still steeped in the Great Depression, took notice. In 1939, when the Saturday Evening Post had an editorial about uh, mid-sized cities in Fort Wayne, uh, they said it's a blue ribbon city because it's been able to maintain its services and keep its taxes low. They uh, recognized Harry Balls as one of the prime movers in that direction. During World War II, the mayor directed war materials drives, upgraded city equipment and services, broke ground for Bear Field, now our international airport, and he built the elevated railroad tracks on the town's north side, opening up North Fort Wayne for development. It's a fact that much of what this town is today, we owe this man. People today all stand on the shoulders of those who have come before us. We, we always forget that because they sustain our society in years before us. They kept the city viable, vibrant. So while the rest of the country giggles like 12-year-olds at his name, we should remember the debt we owe to this man and be proud to name our new government building in his honor or anything else in this town that he, more than most, helped to build. Eric Olson reporting out in your country.